ஹாய் ஆல் லக்ஷ்மி ஹியர் எஸ்என்ஐடி அடு டிசைன் ஆஃப் அண்ட் ரீன்ஃபோர்ஸ்ட் எலாஸ்டமரிக் பயரிங் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸஸ் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் த பிளான் டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த எலாஸ்டமர் அண்ட் ஸ்டெப் டூ வர்டிக்கல் ஸ்டிஃப்னஸ் ஆஃப் த எலாஸ்டமர் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் செக்ஷன் ஸ்டெப் த்ரீ திக்னஸ் கேல்குலேஷன் Actually, the thickness of a bearing is governed by its uh, shear movement. The thickness of a bearing is governed by its shear movement. Okay, uh, see in this figure, uh, shear force is acting, okay, uh, parallel and the shear strain there, developed there. okay i'll draw another figure and uh, this is a and b the plan dimensions and this is the thickness of the elastomeric uh, pad and uh, the shear deformation developed translational uh, shear deformation developed and it is a u so u is the translational shear deformation okay Uh, then uh, u equal to a uh, u equal to t into tan phi where tan phi tan phi can be calculated by using this formula hc plus hs uh, divided by g into a uh, we don't know hc and hs well hc sustained horizontal load it's a horizontal load and it is in newton and hs is it's sustained dynamic horizontal load dynamic horizontal load it is also a newton and a uh, g shear modulus that is the modulus of rigidity we know that it is in newton per mm square okay the area the plan area then uh, the value of u the value of u should be less than 0.7 t okay the translational shear deformation uh, u should be less than 0.7 t this is a check such that t greater than 1.43 u 1.43 u okay this is a check t greater than 1.43 u okay next step step number 4 it's average compressive stress calculation compressive stress calculation and uh, it is given by sigma m the compressive average uh, compressive stress is denoted by sigma m and sigma m equal to p divided by a where p it's the total vertical load and it is in newton and a e effective plan area effective plan area excluding effective plan in the sense uh, effective plan area excluding the shear deformation uh, it is in mm square excluding the shear deformation in the sense 
uh, we have to calculate a e okay then a e equal to uh, small a that means uh, the width a minus excluding the shear deformation that is minus u uh, divided by uh, length that is b okay then a e therefore the average stress calculated should be the average compressive stress stress should be less than 2 g s should be less than 2 g s g s where g shear modulus or modulus of rigidity and s shape factor s shape factor and g shear modulus or modulus of rigidity it is in newton per mm square okay average compressive stress uh, sigma m equal to p divided by a e check it is less than 2 gs and then comes to the fifth step step number five to prevent slip to prevent slip actually a slip the slip of a bearing is uh, due to high horizontal force and low vertical force. The slip of a bearing is due to high horizontal force and low vertical force. So we have to avoid this uh, slip uh, by uh, meeting the following conditions. Okay, we can avoid slip. The following conditions are first one. Sigma m equal to P C divided by A E. It is a greater than 1 plus A by B. Mega Pascal. Okay, check Sigma m equal to P E by A E greater than 1 plus A by B. And next is second condition is H C plus H S. It is a less than P C plus it is less than F into PC plus PS. Okay. Uh, then uh, we don't know a PC, PS, F. Okay. Then PC equal to PC and PS equal to sustained and dynamic vertical load. PC sustained and PS dynamic. Uh, it's vertical load. And it is Newton and then HC and HS, HC and HS, the sustained HS, the sustained and dynamic horizontal loads, Sustain, HC sustained and HS dynamic, sustained and dynamic horizontal loads and it is also in Newton and F we know that it is the coefficient of friction. And take a uh, friction if the average value uh, it is 0 0.3 take it as 0 0.3 okay and two conditions there to avoid slip check these two conditions so we have to prevent the slip and then step number six uh, this is the last okay in order to uh, in order uh, the bearing uh, that a bearing does not overturn okay a bearing does not overturn or topple uh, the thick the thickness of the bearing okay the bearing does not overturn or to topple the thickness of the bearing is restricted it's restricted to less than a by five uh, this is a check the thickness of the bearing less than a by 5. Check it is T less than a by 5. Okay. The conclusion. Step 1 plan dimension it is taken from IRC 83 1987 and step 2 vertical or axial stiffness and step 3 thickness. Uh, 
check the thickness greater than 1.43 u and fourth step average compressive stress uh, there is a check uh, it should be less than the average stress should be less than 2 gs and in the fifth step to prevent the slip there, there are two conditions check that conditions and, and last there is an another check uh, the thickness uh, should be less than a by 5 and this is the procedure for more references refer these textbooks of design of bridge structures thank you